Mobile Trader – How to use the XM Android Phone Part 3 The next main tab is Trade. Inside this tab, you can see all your open positions and orders. By pressing and holding on your open position, a new mini action window appears with several options. To close this specific order, click Close Order, located at the top of the mini action window. Pressing this button directs you to a new window. To confirm that you want to close your position, click the close button at the bottom of the window. Now another window will open that indicates that your order has been successfully closed. Another method of placing an order is through the main charts window. First, locate the button New Order on the top right side of the charts window. Click it to go to the order window. To place a different type of order, for example a pending order, change the type to buy limit. Here you can see the options of the buy limit order. You can adjust the values by clicking on each space accordingly. The last option in this window is the expiration of the pending order. Clicking on specified opens a new window where you can manually set the expiration date. The GTC option stands for Good Till Cancelled. Adjust the values of each section by clicking and setting the values of your choice. Once you set the values, click Place at the bottom of this window to place your pending order. After clicking Place, you will see that the order has been successfully placed. In the Main Charts tab, you can see the trade level lines displayed in the Main Chart window. Clicking the Trade tab, you can see the pending orders that have been placed. By pressing and holding on the order, a mini action window pops up. This window presents you with three options. Modify the order, delete the order, and chart. Pressing Modify takes you to the Modify Order window, where you can apply changes to your order. Once the changes are made, the Modify button becomes active. Now click Modify. Press and hold down on your order and a mini action window will pop up. Click to delete the order if you choose to delete the order. Following this, a confirmation window pops up. Here you can choose to delete the order. After you delete the order and head back to the main trade tab, you can see that the order has been successfully removed. The fourth button on the bottom main tab is History. Here you can see the history of all orders that have been placed, as well as your remaining balance. At the top side of the window, you can see the Symbol section, which lets you filter the history display for a specific symbol. Let's display the EURUSD for example, by selecting EURUSD symbol. Now you can see the search results have found all the trades that were done on the EURUSD pair. On the right side of the search field, there is a calendar icon. By clicking it, a drop-down menu appears, which displays five search options for any instrument and for a specific time period. If you click Custom, for example, a new window appears, which lets you choose a custom date for your search. Click Done to confirm this and return to the Main History tab. Now let's bring back our Main Options menu by clicking Options to see more details in the Main Settings window. Remember that this button may vary according to the smartphone version you are using. Click Settings to go to the Main Settings window. The Main Options window can be accessed at any time from any main tab. The OHLC option, which stands for Open, High, Low and Closed is enabled by default. You can see it displayed on the Main Charts window. By unticking this option and going back to the Main Chart tab, you can see that the OHLC option is no longer displayed. The next option, Show Volumes, is also disabled by default. By enabling this option and going back to the Main Chart tab, you can see that the volumes are now displayed in the Main Chart window. The Show Trade Levels is only visible when you place an order. This option is ticked by default. For example, if an order was active inside the Charts tab, 
you can see the trade level lines as active and displayed. To hide these lines, untick this option from the settings menu. If you have an open position, click and hold on the order. After this, a mini action window will open. Clicking it will take you to the close order window, where you can partially close your order by adjusting the volume. For example, you can change the volume lots from 1 to 0.5 lots. Proceed by clicking close. On the main trade tab, you can see the partially closed order. By pressing and holding on the order, the mini action window appears. To terminate the order completely, click close order at the top of the menu. Click close order and the close order main window appears. And by clicking the close button, you can terminate this order. After this, the confirmation window opens, displaying the closure of this order. Back in the main history tab, you can see all the orders that have been closed. You can see that there are no more active orders as the main trade tab is now empty. End of part 3. Thank you for watching.